Sherlock Holmes is a long and hard movie series that people love. From the books we read while in school to the movie, we are more than glad that the movie series is getting a renewal for the third time. Sherlock Holmes 3 was always a buzz around following the premiering of the second part in the huge displays. Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows 2012. The show portrays Sir Arthur Conan Doyle literary character following the name. The first installation had broken the records hitting around $524 million and was outside in the year 2009. Sherlock Holmes was first released in 2009. The movie was an instant hit. A sequel for the movie was released in 2011. The action mystery film has received a lot of praise from all over the globe. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle has created the characters of the show. Show. Michelle Moroni and Kieran Moroni have written the movie. The movie received a lot of praise from critics as well. As for the third movie, it is the one that is in the air for too long now. We know of the production from very long ago, but finally, the movie is moving forward with its writing and various other things. The release date is going to be December 22nd of 2021. It is the same as the release pattern for the movie series as the previous movies. Indeed, it is sad that we are not getting to see it in theaters in 2020, and the wait is going to be for around a year. However, it is better late than never. Sherlock Holmes 3 Cast Details Rumors report that the director post is going to be overhauled by Dexter Fletcher along with scripting being handled by Chris Brancato on when the shooting will probably kick off. No updates. The throw must incorporate the two game players, Robert Downey Jr. as Sherlock Holmes, the eccentric detective and Jude Law because of his loyal assistant, Dr. John Watson, respectively. We don't know whether the corresponding roles of Inspector Lestrade, Irene Adler, Lord Coward, Mary Morstan, and also each of the casts will continue to be featured or not. Movie Plot Review Sherlock Holmes is coming back and that indefinitely means that a crime has been committed. We almost expect Sherlock to die by the end of 2011. However, he does not open us to the possibilities of a third movie. As the franchise runs, the feud between Sherlock Holmes and Professor Moriarty continues. Therefore, in the third movie, we expect to see more of their claws against each other. To acquire a well-constructed up idea we will need to await the trailer and teaser release.